Hello fellas and welcome to part 7 of my platformer tutorial series. Um, in this one we are going to uh, create smooth camera movement. Um, so the, uh, the camera will follow the player smoothly. So let's just get started. So first off we are obviously going to create a new script. And that script is going to be called uh, camera follow and jump right into monitor lab develop or the program you're using to edit your scripts <laughs> um, so we're going to the script and we are going to create some uh, some new variables so the first variables we're going to create is public or private uh, vector2 velocity we are not going to touch this velocity because it is just required for the script to work uh, we're going to use it later um, I'm going to explain that um, public load smooth time um, let's say y public float smooth time x um, so this is basically um, the smoothing time for the camera um, and then we're going to set a uh, public game object player which is our player we are going to reference to so um, we are going to set the player to game object dot find game object with tag player so what this does is we're setting the game object player here our variable to um, game object to find game object with tag player which is our player here and if you haven't assigned a tag you're going here to tag and then to player right there and then going back in and we're going to create a new method called void fixed update there we go um, so now we're going to do the smoothing and following so create a new float position x equals to math f dot smooth damp this is so the uh, float is smoothed so it uh, go from a to b smoothly um, so we're going to set the uh, position of our camera and then we're going to set the target which is our player to player dot transform dot position and then we are going to say ref velocity um, dot x and smooth time x and then I forgot to say transform.position.x and player.transform.position.x because this is for the x position of our camera. Now we're going to do it for the y. Float position y is equals to mathf.smoothdamp transform.position.y comma player dot transform dot position dot y it's basically the same just with um, x and we're going to say ref velocity dot y and then smooth time y there we go um so that just smoothens the uh, uh the y um so we're going to say transform dot position is equals to new vector 3 and then we're going to put in our two variables which is position x and position y position x position y and then we're going to say transform dot position dot c so it doesn't affect the c position of the camera 
So let's go into Unity again and uh, make sure to assign the script. There we go. Let me just delete this and set the smooth time to whatever you want. Um, I prefer 0 0.05. It uh, it looks good. Um, so as you can see, when we play, the camera kind of like is a little delayed. So it is a it is a little bit smooth. So it feels smooth, as you can see. God, it's lagging because of the goddamn recording program. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, it is smooth, and that is awesome. So yeah, that is basically everything for this part. Um, I can go in and check it. The smooth camera movement, and for the next one, we are going to create bounds for the camera movement. So for example, um. So the uh, camera can't go below here, for example. And um, so yeah, just creating bounds, boundaries for the camera. I hope you understood this tutorial greatly. <laughs> um, please stay subscribed, um, like and share. And um, if you have any problems or any suggestions, please comment and... Um, See you in the next part. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>